Hi everyone, in this video I am trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. So I am trying to log into my client PC machine as a user. So the name of the user is called Citrix User1. So once I log in, once I log in and when I click on a virtual desktop, when I click on it, It tries to launch the machine. It looks like it is launching, but in the end, yes, it says access is denied. Okay, it says access is denied. So click OK. So in this case, what you can do is you can just try to launch the machine using a different user account and see how it goes. Just for testing purpose. I'm going to log in as Citrix user 2 this time. Okay, last time we tried it using Citrix user 1. This time we will try using Citrix user 2. Okay, I logged in successfully. So let me try to launch Design Team VDI once again and see how it goes. Okay, it looks like it is trying to launch, but if you see, it throws the same error message. It says access is denied. Click OK. Okay, now let's try to launch a different machine and see how it goes. Okay, it still says access is denied. Okay, now let's quickly go to Studio Console. So if you go to Citrix Studio Console, so this is controller and this is studio. So let's try to check the status of these machines, okay? Okay, so we have one machine here which is in a registered state. So machine is okay. Let's check the, let's check the other machine. Okay, this is also in registered state. So everything looks good, but we still get the same error message. So we tested it using multiple user accounts. When we, It's always good to test with multiple user accounts to find out whether it is a single user issue or multiple users issue. So we tested it using multiple user accounts, but we still were not able to launch the applications. Okay, let's try to launch a published application instead of a virtual desktop. Let's try to launch a published application, Notepad. Okay, it throws the same error message, access is denied. Okay, this is definitely a server side issue. So, uh, what we can do is, we can check the status of the services. Okay, let's check the status of the services quickly. Okay, let's go to controller. Okay, so these are my services on the controller machine, desktop delivery controller. So if you see here, all the services are in running state. Okay, these are all the Citrix related services everything is an up and running state so everything looks good so it says something about the access something about the access so you can go to delivery groups and check whether you have access to these machines or not click on edit delivery group check whether the users have been assigned to these virtual desktops or not okay so if you see here you have citrix user one citrix user two tom so all users have been uh, you know given permission have been given permission design team vda if you see here all users have been already given permission so this shouldn't be a problem. So let's do one thing. So these are some kind of issues like you need to really understand what is actually happening. So what you can do is let's try to log into Citrix Director. Okay. So this is Citrix Director. Okay. So once you log into Citrix Director, if you see here, it says user connection failures six. Let me click on this. Okay. It says uh, total fail 
desktop OS machines one failed to start one. Okay, if you see here, licensing status, you see three, uh, you know, alerts, critical alerts here. So let's click on this. Let's click on this and see what is happening. Okay, now it says required product licenses are not installed. Licenses were not found for this product. Okay, so this is the cause of the issue. This is the root cause of this issue because maybe the licenses, you know, the trial licenses have been expired or or we need to install uh, the licenses on this product again to you know to get access to the applications otherwise users will not be able to launch the application it says required product licenses are not installed so we need to install the licenses first if the licenses are not installed then we will not be able to launch the application so it is asking us to install the app install the licenses so what you have to do is if your licenses are not present on the license server you need to you know download the license from the uh, you know from your account uh, you need to log into your Citrus account and you need to download the license. And once you activate the licenses, users, users will be able to launch the applications again without any issues. Okay, so that is the cause of the issue. So here, the licenses are not installed currently. That's why users are not able to launch the applications. All right, uh, I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.